Welcome to another video. This is a topic in number theory and we want to talk about perfect numbers. Now I've heard that 10 is a perfect number, but not in number theory. You know what number is perfect? The number six is the smallest known perfect number. So you go, what exactly makes a number perfect. Now I'm going to describe what makes it perfect and we're going to go looking for more perfect numbers. Let's get into the video. Let's look at the definition of a perfect number. A number is perfect if it is equal to the sum of all its proper divisors. Now the word proper is very important because we're talking about the numbers that divide that number. Let's take six since I've already told you that six is a perfect number. What really makes six perfect? This is it and that will help you understand this definition. If we write the number six, we know that six can be divided by one. Every number can be divided by one. So six is equal to one plus what other number can divide six? Well, two is a good option. What other number can divide six? Three is a good option. What other number can divide six? Well, we know that six can divide six, but six is not a proper divisor of six because it is equal to six itself. So when you use the word proper divisor, what you're saying is we're not going to be using the number itself. We're looking for all divisors less than the number. So six is equal to the sum of its proper divisors, and that is what makes six a perfect number. Now I want you to start thinking, do you know any other perfect number? Don't Google it yet, because I'm sure if you Google it, you'll find the answer. But can you think of another number such that if you list out the proper divisors, which always includes one because one divides every number, see if you can find another number, definitely has to be greater than six because this is the smallest perfect number. And just do it before you continue watching this video because I'm going to show you how to find the ones we know how to find. Okay? And obviously, this is an even number. Will they always be even? We don't know. But we know that 6 is perfect because we just showed that it is the sum of every number that divides it. Add it together, you get back that number. So how do you find a perfect number generally? Well, let me give you the formula and then I'm going to find the next perfect number greater than six. So what's the formula? And there's a proof for it, which I'm not going to do in this video because then it's going to get longer than I want it to be. So how do you find perfect numbers? Now, pay attention. This is important. Okay, so watch this. We say if Q, let's take a number, is equal to 2 raised to power P minus 1. So this is how you create a perfect number. And we can prove that this is going to give you a perfect number. If Q is equal to 2 raised to power P, minus 1, such that P and Q are both prime. It's important that these conditions are met. P must be prime, Q must be prime. P must be prime, Q must be prime. But Q is 2 raised to power P minus 1. P is a prime number. Q is a prime number. Then. Then. 
then q multiplied by 2 raised to power p minus 1 is perfect. Now, do not confuse this 2 raised to power p minus 1 with this one. This minus 1 is subtracted from p. This 1 is subtracted from 2 raised to power p. This is a perfect number. This is how to create a perfect number. Okay, let's say you didn't understand what I said. Let's go here. Let's try and create 6 as a perfect number. Now you're going to understand what this means. So, let's list. What's important is you have to first find a prime number here that you raise 2 to. So, what is the first prime number you're going to raise 2 to? Uh, what's the smallest prime number? Oh, the smallest prime number is 2. So, let P be 2. Remember, 2 is prime. Then, Q is equal to 2 raised to power 2 minus 1. What is 2 raised to power 2 minus 1? Well, it's going to be equal to 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3. Is 3 a prime number? Yes. The second condition has been met. So, here, P is prime, Q is also prime. We have found the two main ingredients to find a perfect number. So, here, here we have our number to, our Q to be 3. So, what is the perfect number? Perfect number equals Q times 2 raised to the power P minus 1, which is going to be Q times 2 raised to the power P minus 1. In this case, our P is 2, so we can say this is equal to, what is Q? Q is 3, prime. Remember? It must be prime. So it's going to be 3 times 2 raised to the power 2 minus 1. Well, this is 3 times 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, so 3 times 2 is 6. And I showed you from the beginning that 6 is a perfect number. Now, I want you to go to the next prime number. Okay? So always start from the P. Always take P. So the next prime number greater than 2 will be 3. Let's, try, let's see if the next number greater than 2 will be... Remember I told you there's a proof for this formula. Okay? It's going to be in another video. The proof of perfection. No. How do I describe that? The proof of perf perfectness. No. Perfection. I don't know. Oh, perfect numberness. <laughs> okay, so let's try three. Suppose P is three. I'm, I'm going to leave this on the board. Let, let's just do something here. I know it's not going to work, okay? Let P be equal to three. Then Q will be equal to two raised to power three minus one. What is two raised to power three? It's eight. What is 8 minus 1? It's 7. Oh, it works! Q is prime and P is also prime. You have the two ingredients. So, what is the number that is perfect? What's the next perfect number? We're going to get a perfect number. Ah, I thought we were not going to get a perfect number. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Tell me what this is going to be, the next perfect number after 6. And if you want to go a step further, let me know. Don't Google it, because if you Google it, it spoils the fun. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.